New at 530 on what would have been his 24th birthday today, the mother of Quay Davis was part of a group rallying on the steps of North Carolina's General Assembly, demanding lawmakers address the gun violence plaguing our state. Davis's own son Quay was shot and killed in Charlotte back in 2019. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly spoke with Davis today and Ashley today's rally comes at a time when gun violence is on the rise. Yeah, according to data on the gunviolencearchive.org, already this year, 232 North Carolinians have been killed by a gun, 17 of them under age 17. At North Carolina's state capitol today, a rally cry from those who carry the pain of losing a loved one to gun violence. These murder rates, they're getting ridiculous. And we're losing our children, our moms, our neighbors due to senselessness. Claudia Davis started the organization Moms Ain't Playin' after her own son, Don Quavius Quay Davis, was shot and killed at an apartment complex near UNCC in 2019. Today would have been his 24th birthday. And so missed. <laughs> So th that's why my fight, because he, he's a life worth fighting for. Davis says today's rally, a message to lawmakers calling for tougher laws and fewer bail opportunities for those who pull the trigger. As their, their killers um, have been released on bond and they're just out walking amongst them, that's a hurt. It hurts. It, it makes us feel like our kids' life had no value. Over the last few weeks, gun violence has shattered communities all across our area. In Charlotte, 15-year-old Shamirian McKinney shot and killed on Tuscasegee Road by another 15-year-old. In Hickory, 7-year-old Zachlin Kai Harris shot and killed in the backseat of his mom's car by an upset driver. And in Shelby, this 8-month-old baby girl is fighting for her life after police say an altercation in the street of her neighborhood sent bullets flying through the walls of her room. And that's only naming a few. Yeah, gun violence so bad, CMPD recently started a special task force to address it. But Davis says she wants lawmakers at the top to also take on the issue. Reporting in Charlotte, Asha Daly, WCNC Charlotte.